Welcome into the three show, everybody. Vinny Parasite with you here. We've got highlights to get to, and we've got some big time matchups coming up in the next few days. But first, our top story of the day. Brady Lindauer of the Cooley Region Chill has announced his commitment to St. Mary's University of the Mayak. The veteran forward is off to a hot start here in 2018-19 as he leads the Chill with six points in just three games. Last year, he registered 64 points in 34 games and logged four points in eight playoff contests. Lindauer also played in seven NHL games last season. On to the ice, we go to North Richland Hills where the Louisiana Drillers took two of three from the Texas Brahmas. Friday night went to overtime where Tucker Alspog put home the game winner. The Drillers won in a shootout on Sunday, which now means there's a three-way tie for first place in the South Division. And let's not forget the Atlanta Capitals, who are just two points back. The first team in the NA3HL to 10 wins? That would be the LA Nordiques as they improved to 10-0 with a weekend sweep of the Long Beach Sharks. Colby Audette had five points on the weekend, including a hat-trick in Saturday's win. Joe Bisson also scored a hat-trick that came on Friday, a 4-2 win over the Sharks. Coming up, we renew one of the best rivalries in the NA3HL as the North Iowa Bulls take on the Granite City Lumberjacks. The two teams are once again division rivals, and each of them will be looking to get a leg up on the other in the incredibly tough West Division. The St. Louis Junior Blues currently sit in second place in the Central Division. They will travel to Wisconsin to take on the third place Whalers. Wisconsin is red hot as of late as they have won five in a row coming into this showdown. The Junior Blues sit six points back of first place Milwaukee, but they have a pair of games in hand. We'll close out our preview with a Coastal Division battle between LA and New England. They will meet on Saturday as the second place stars look to halt the streaking Nordiques. LA's offense is averaging just over seven goals per game, but the stars are holding opponents to just under two goals a night. So will the stars defense keep the Nordiques offense in check? You have to watch the game on hockey TV to find out. Log on to NA3HL.com for the latest news and scores from around the league, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's all we have for you this week here on The Three Show. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Vinny Paraselli. We'll see you next week, and thanks for watching.